Hey YouTube, quick video today. What we're going to do is just have a quick look at the Anchor car starter. Um, so it's a small portable uh, battery pack with USB ports so you can charge a smartphone or whatever from it. Uh, there it is, it's got the Anchor IQ system on it. Now I bought the Anchor because I've got a couple of other things, there's a small battery bank here um, and their cables and stuff, and they're quite good quality so I stuck with the Anchor, I got it on a lightning deal so it was uh, less than 50 quid and uh, there are the specs, if you can read that, hopefully it will focus so if you can't read it then that's the uh, A1501 400 amp peak current starter so basically you plug those crocodile clips in there and start your car if it's got a flat battery there's a few other videos on YouTube so I won't do any more on that what we're gonna do is have a look inside so just to speed the video up I've already removed those four screws that are down in there now they're just standard small Phillips heads so perfect nice and easy to get into uh, there's still clips holding it so you won't be able to see this but I'm gonna just lever it open There we go. Now the uh, little lens for the LEDs falling out. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a uh, just a kind of TIR lens, I believe they call them, or similar. So the plastic's all right. It's sort of a rubberized uh, coating on the outside, but it's. It's a fairly basic plastic, I can't tell if it's got any kind of reinforcements. It's, uh, it's sturdy enough, but it's not great. Um, so the LED, it's not a Cree, uh, I don't think. It's got a round, a round die. So I'm not sure what kind of LED that is. And there we go, that's the electronics that are feeding from the, from the charger port and the uh, USB output and uh, interesting that'll focus but on the board you shitty camera we have bolt power written across there so it's uh, obviously made by them for anchor I would imagine no this camera's not going to focus Oh, there we go, so it claims it's got the IQ technology and um, I've plugged some in and it works so I haven't tested it any, any more than that um, I haven't even tested it to start the car but it should do the other videos show that so hopefully when I need it it will work um, so this is the main bit, this is the battery pack it's um, got some thicker wires going into the battery there they're 10 gauge which I think is under 6 mil squared if you're working in metric and um, not very big for 400 amps certainly um, so here it is, this is uh, the battery pack it looks like um, kind of lipos that you see on a remote control helicopter or a, a drone so there is a little circuit on top there doing something uh, those cables I thought they might be for balancing but they actually go to the same point so those are just two reds in parallel and these two blacks are in parallel uh, but I imagine it's got some sort of balancing 
on it looks like three three quite long cells yeah and that's uh, really all there is to it so just for anyone interested what was in them so if you open it up yourself uh, something to note on these is the power I'm not sure if it's on here no, 37 watt hour. So you can see the size of this thing. Because of the battery. Battery type. I mean this is this is a RAV power which are very similar to the Anchor products. And um this is this is not a car starter. This this will use what they call 18650 lithium ions. Um so they're actually the, t the type that are used in a high power LED torch. So and they look kind of like that. This is a protected version, but uh, yeah, that's basically what's in in these plain battery packs that just give out the, uh, the start. Now the interesting thing is that the watt hour rating. If you'll be able to read that, it's 49.5 and uh, it's a far smaller battery. It's significantly smaller. Weight, probably not much in it. But the uh, if you want to just charge your phone, you're better off still with one of these. And um, so that was 49 versus the 37 of the anchor. And, then the small anchor, so this has got two 18650s in it, and a single port output for charging your phone, and that one's 19, 19 watt hours, so, if you're not charging your car, if you're not going to bump start your car, get one of the normal ones. Um, this this feels better made, I'd, I'd suspect that that's not made by Anchor. The board inside certainly appears not to be. And um, the Anchor product just feels just feels a bit classier, a bit nicer put together. Um, and the, the RAVs up there are slightly cheaper than the Anchor, but obviously these are different sizes. But usually the RAVs are slightly cheaper than the Anchor and the quality is up there. So anyway, that was a quick look inside the car star. Thanks for watching.